As you can see, I'm on a couch. I smoke cigarettes. I eat stir fry. I eat all kinds of food. I drink lots of coffee every day. Uh, I'm trying to control all of this, and I'm discovering that I have different conditions. I sleep on this couch with these pillows just like this. And I have a condition that causes me to sleep on this couch because I can't lay flat. It's called vertigo. It's called benign um, uh, something uh, positional vertigo. Dismeet, dif I can't remember the word. But uh, it causes me to spin when I'm sleeping. And... Uh, I have to take vitamins. I have to take Tylenol because I have a lot of inflammation. And coffee puts me to sleep instead of wakes me up if I don't get enough sleep. And then um, I found that the tap water was poisonous. I smoke about a pack of cigarettes a day. Uh, I'm, I study medicine. As you can see, I got lots of medical books. And I got uh, the Internet. Also, the government provides a uh, nice uh, server for uh, the medical gov, and uh, I could be a doctor if I really wanted to be. Uh, so I'm pretty, you know, I drink beer occasionally, I drink pop, Mountain Dew, lots of water, uh, I program computers, I can build machines, uh, you know, I got a, my own security system, I can build electronics, I know how to operate data, uh, I can use a microscope, I can use UVs, I can use a spectrometer. I know how to measure uh, volumes and masses. Uh, you know, I can work on a car, I can build a house, I can plant a tree. You know, I can do all that. In the end, what I want to say, what I want to say is that there are several problems with CMHC and the doctors here and the medicines that they prescribe. They all are evil. Uh, they cause me different conditions, especially right now I'm on in vagus cystena, and it's causing me this ear mutation that's, that is benign and causing me to spin and feel like I'm dying in my sleep. Well, uh, that leads me to sleeping on the couch because I can't lay on a bed because my position causes me to spin now now sleeping on this couch causes me to bend my spine which affects uh how my heart rhythms go and how i feel pain and how um my nerves feel and uh it also causes me to have different other conditions uh nobody knows that moving your spine and twisting your spine can cause all sorts of problems uh while you're sleeping and throughout the day. Plus I have sleep apnea because I'm overweight because the vagus cystena messes with not only my uh, metabolism but also my sex drive. And uh it messes with my heart rhythms too. But so does sleeping on this couch at night. Uh and I get to feeling like my soul is leaving my body, like I'm dying and passing away. Uh, there's lots of conditions that are happening here all at once, uh, because of the way I eat food. I'm having to change how I eat food. I get a bouts of acid reflux on, on, from time to time. Um, medicines all affect me differently. I'm quite sensitive. I have acne vulgaris that I've been dealing with my whole life. It's not nearly as bad now. And I've learned how to control it a little bit better, quite a bit better. And then, um, uh, I'm an intelligent person. Uh, I'm not stupid. And I've done lots of research. I've been studying medicine for eight years on my own. Uh, independent, I'm an independent student, independent studier. And, uh, I do my own work a lot of the time. And I live on social security. Okay. Most people think this is quite fraudulent, but it is not because, I mean, you're looking at it. I produce it. I can show you that I'm not a fraud. So, I mean, there's logic here. I mean, you can't deny it. So, anyhow, um, yes, I'm a messy person because I just don't give a fuck. But besides that, uh, I, I have a lot of arthritis, inflammation, symptoms, like type symptoms. I have a lot of pain. I think I have fibromyalgia. 
uh, but I'm not sure. It, it comes and goes depending on my diet. It may be caused by acidosis because I used to drink a lot of Coca-Cola. Well, I quit drinking Coca-Cola. So there's lots of things that are playing into my health right now that are dynamic to with different components um, that is actually all caused by both me and the doctors of CMHC. Okay, so I technically need much more assistance. I need to get off the medication that I'm on. I do not want any more psychiatric drugs whatsoever because I'm perfectly capable of maintaining a safe person. I uh, can be safe, uh, and that means that I don't need medication. I'm safe. So uh, I understand safety entirely, to be safe at all times. So uh, not only that, I want to sue them for malpractice. Uh, they also tried to kill me with the Bilify. It used to be a very strong narcotic, 100 times more powerful than heroin. And they tried to kill me with a 40 milligram pill. And uh, this is pretty well the video of videos on what I want to do with CMHC. I want a lot of things to change. Um, people need to be diagnosed for all of these weird quirks, these proxy, pro, proxy, proxismal uh, <coughs> conditions that upset them throughout their lives, like sleep apnea, blood disorders, immune disorders, acne, skin diseases, you know, you name it. Everybody has to be diagnosed and treated. But you have, you can never lie to a patient and tell them that it's absolute that the treatment is going to be for them. Uh, and they basically are court ordering me to take this medication called Invega Sustena. And I think that they're committing a crime against me because it's causing me all of these problems. Um, with my metabolism, my my ear, uh, and the vertigo, uh, it's causing me heart palpitations, nervous reactions. I mean, the list goes on. It's pretty dynamic at what's really happening. It also causes me extreme thirst and uh, bouts of hunger, uh, and my libido completely died. I went from being a regularly normal sexual person to absolutely nothing, completely dead. <clears throat> Very occasionally do I have a libido every every couple of weeks or something. Uh, so like, not only that, I go through about lots of depression because life is a lost cause and nobody's got it figured out and nobody wants to figure it out. So therefore, it's all hell. I mean, I feel like I'm just living to die. I'm trapped in this place and I can't quite associate with people that I don't uh, don't like or that people that don't try to make an effort or, you know, there's just different reasons I might not associate with different people, so I get quite lonely. Uh, and then my caseworker, she does as little as possible, you know. She she kind of, she's kind of lazy, kind of not real. She's, she's a good person, but I don't think she's putting in the effort that's necessary. Plus, we have this thing called COVID-19 going on right now. And it pretty well shits on everything. So everybody's afraid of getting COVID. And they act like they can't be around you. They don't want contact with you and all this necessary bullshit. But in the end, I want some, I want things to change drastically. Uh, we can't keep living like this. I mean, there are lots of these clients that are probably going through the same things that I'm going through. They're very unhappy. And CMHC really doesn't cut the cake. And this is in Batesville, Indiana. My address is 21 North Depot Street, Apartment 4, Batesville, Indiana, 47006. My number is 812-527-7542. This is my official lawsuit video. And this is how I live. This is what I do. This is where I'm at. This this is the life that I have. This is the clutter. This is the kitchen. This is the living room. This is my life. Uh... It's no big deal. So, uh, this is what I want you to know is that this is very dynamic and they're not doing their job. They're lying. They're covering it up. They're malpracticing 
and I want a cure for this, and I want money, I want something, I want to fix, they're not doing their job, I want to create a lawsuit. And my name's Leonard Yance Jr. Thank you.